Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am the Poverty Princess. I guess you can see by the um, fact that I have the <clears throat> shirt on from the previous video, I actually did both of these videos the same night, but I waited to upload this video. And this is the video I meant where I said that there is a <clears throat> situation going on and I am going to try to nip it in the bud. When I first started my channel I had a troll, probably someone local, who hated every video I, I uploaded. And I made mention of it to my son and my son said, oh it's a troll there's people that do that and when they get bored with you they move on to someone else okay fine so over time i think so far i've encountered with the exception of today two nasty comments that i reported to youtube one was a remark about a video that I had done outdoors this summer I was wearing a strapless top now I didn't feel that the shirt in question was obscene but someone had an issue with it and I came to realize it was probably someone jealous that they could not wear something like that and so I tried to reply that I didn't know I needed to have a dress code for my channel. Um, also, before I even get into this video, a little warning to haters. YouTube is going to be using software that will flag some potentially negative comments and they will review them and then give the content creator the opportunity to review them before they even allow them to actually go up in comments. That is actually a big help because if the situation I'm experiencing now gets out of hand, um, that is definitely going to be a big help. What I've encountered today was, I want to say within the past several days, three different women that have three different issues with me. I'm not going to name them by name or call them out by name, <clears throat> but they do know who they are. One lady, and I have to laugh before I even say this because she assumed something that was so very very wrong and just basically so petty and downright stupid that I cannot help but laugh a little about it and it was about my tattoos now I do not mind if someone asks me about a tattoo or you know like how much I may have paid to get something done or where I got done um, if it has a meaning for me as each one of my tattoos do the lady made a remark that I basically spent all kind of money on my tattoos and I could have used that money you know for food and things well first of all <laughs> my most recent tattoo is from almost four years ago so I have not gotten any tattoos for the past several years so shoot that down right off right off the bat and number two I think I probably only spent and I have let me see one two three I probably spent 
less than $150 on all my tattoos. When I was a teenager, the very first tattoo I ever had done is one you will not see, and that is a black rose, which actually faded to gray. I was almost 17 years old when I got that tattoo. And I dated the tattoo artist who actually did that tattoo. I had other tattoos that were covered up, and they did not, the cover-ups did not even cost me a lot of money as the lady who did them for me was in a, shall we say, tight financial bind herself and needed groceries and made a deal with me for the one tattoo if I would buy her some chicken and things. And I did just that. When I went shopping, I bought her big packs of chicken, um, I think maybe ground beef, and I think a big bag of rice. So, when you just assume things, you are often very, very wrong. And you basically, as my mom used to say, make an ass of yourself. So, the lady in question who feels that I blew all this money on tattoos, well, first of all, I didn't spend all that much money on my tattoos in my life. It's been several years since I did get a tattoo. There is two more tattoos I'd like to get in the future, but most definitely they will not occur until such time that I am in a better place financially. There's a lot more things more important in life than getting a tattoo, for sure. And plenty of other things that need to be taken care of and addressed before I just go and get a new one. I have the designs, I know what I want them to be, what they, I want them to look like, but most definitely then I, I couldn't afford to, even if I did want to, which I don't at the moment, as I said, there are other things that are much more important in my life. So for that lady, um, she just made an ass of herself because she assumed things, and assumed things that were very wrong. So, she's addressed. The next lady made the remark that with my paparazzi video, that paparazzi video, that I spent money I should have spent on food on that. And so I sort of got criticized for that. Well, first of all, I did not spend grocery money on that order. That order and the subsequent order I'm going to show you guys in like right before my son's birthday um, was free money that I cashed out in apps. So I did not touch any bill money or grocery grocery money or anything like that for that. And I felt rather insulted that someone would make that remark because I stated that I cashed out, you know, with apps. And so that takes care of that. That is someone with just an opinion. I try to answer negative comments politely. Now this last person did get under my skin severely to the point that I, if I could reach through the laptop and slap the shit out of her, I would. <laughs> this lady was very rude, very rude, and insinuated that I beg on my YouTube channel. And when I remarked as a, a, a comment back to her comment that I do not beg, she said, yes, I do, subtly. 
So I want to state it here and now that I do not beg on my channel. And if somehow I come across as begging, that most definitely is not my intention and not my goal. I really thought about this as to what I do or what I say that would make someone say that to me that I beg. I mean, I may remark, you know, um, that I miss something I regularly got in a food pantry hall, but that's just stating that it's something that I, I use a lot and incorporate into a lot of meals. I'm not begging for a replacement. I'm just saying that, you know, that is something that I use a lot and what I make with it, blah, blah, blah. But that's not implying that I'm begging for something. I really cannot see what this lady meant by that, but that really got under my skin. And if she was referring to a gift that was sent to me, well, I have seen on YouTube a lot of different YouTubers get gifts. There is a lady I'm subscribed to. She does a lot of wish hauls, boba hauls, um, thrift store hauls. And she uploads on average, I want to say anywhere from three to four videos a month with all different kind of things that she gets from subscribers. And I watch a lot of her videos. She most definitely does not beg, does not throw hands, does not do anything of the sort. Her subscribers send her things, send her things for her dogs. Um, I mean, some negative people forget that there are YouTubers who, um, for example, maybe produce, like, say, historic pieces, for example. I'm going to pull someone who I, I follow his channel and love his, his videos. They're very interesting and well put together. Obsolete Oddity. This gentleman has a Patreon account. Um, because some of his videos do tend to be a little bit dark. Oftentimes they are about like two crimes that may have occurred, but these are not per se like famous people But they are nonetheless like true stories some very sad some heartbreaking and But they're historic pieces and very interesting and Because they are a little bit dark mm, A few people may complain about them and next thing you know YouTube demonetized these videos so a way for him to make up for the money he was losing on the videos was to go to Patreon. So this negative lady um, forgets that many YouTubers have many fans. Even someone as big and popular as Markiplier um, has an option for subscribers to pay a few dollars each month and get exclusive content. Um, some of the explorers sell merchandise. They also, too, give some subscribers an option. They get gifts. Um, some of them have Patreon accounts. They are hardly begging. So, I, I laugh at people that jump on and criticize someone without knowing exactly what they're talking about. Now, someone may be from the generation that felt that women shouldn't have tattoos. And my mom was from that generation and was not happy when she discovered I, I had a tattoo, my very first one. But it is what it is. It is my choice. I like them. 
many of you women I know have tattoos, some more than me. <laughs> the beautiful girl that did my cover-ups has way more than me. I would say probably because she has many small ones like on her fingers and hands. Um, I would say she probably has about 30. And that's just a rough estimate. It probably is more. So this lady would be horrified to see her. And, and yes, this girl is a beautiful girl. And she is in a much better place in life now. She has a gorgeous little boy she had several years ago. Her daughters are teenagers. This gal is so talented. Not only does she work outside of her home, but she also does piercings and tattooing. She does nails, she does hair, she does the, um, the eyebrow tattooing and the uh, lipstick tattooing. She does a lot of different things. Um, in the end, she is about her family and supporting herself and the best part of all without the benefit of any kind of government help. So, you know, you cannot help but admire a woman with talent, perseverance, and a very confident attitude. And does she call people out on their bull? You better believe she does. I knew as my channel started growing, I would encounter um, a few haters here and there. And as far as the remark about the paparazzi jewelry, <coughs> I gave the person the benefit of the doubt at first, thinking, well, you know, maybe they really haven't watched many of my videos or this or that. But I've come to the conclusion that I think haters in general, um, especially on my channel, are people that have no concept of really what it is to to struggle. I have been in really good positions in my life and I have been in bad positions. Once in my life I was homeless. I spent some time in a domestic violence shelter once in my life. Twice actually. Um, I've had some interesting experiences <laughs> and I can tell you that I think pretty much things go in cycles. You know, I think that we all have periods of good and we, you know, have periods of, shall we say, I won't say bad, but let's just say a little bit tighter time. Everything goes in cycles. That's just my belief. I do also believe that kindness deserves kindness. I don't necessarily believe that two wrongs make a right because oftentimes they really don't. I think what may be upset some folks is that <coughs> they may just be married to a spouse with a good job and they both work and they own their own home and they have vehicles and this and that and they look down on anyone who gets any type of help or is on any type of assistance is sort of like um I guess like an inferior person um there was there was someone about two weeks ago who made a comment about I have to go to a food pantry but yet I have internet well considering even government phones are capable of picking up Wi-Fi, I find it very, very insulting that in this day and age, someone begrudges a low-income person internet. I mean, 
if that was that person's grandparents and they like to go on Facebook every day and you know share things about their grandchildren would they begrudge you know their parents having internet because they're retired they're in social security now like oh no mom dad you're scum now you cannot have internet god forbid can't have you have a nap I mean that's really a horrible way to look at people and think like well you're on disability therefore you should live in a dump and you should dress like a bomb and most definitely you should not have internet oh no that's a luxury well nowadays pretty much internet and Wi-Fi is a necessity it's hardly a luxury and for me it is a necessity I would not be able to be working on my YouTube channel without it also I watch the news I pay bills I shop with the internet so I should live in the dark ages based on this lady's perception because I'm on disability well my answer to that simply is I didn't expect to develop heart trouble in my 40s I didn't expect to develop health issues I went through a lot of testing and poking and probing and all kind of MRIs and MRAs by a neurologist years ago before arriving at my diagnosis of my fibromyalgia and that was many years before heart issues were detected so I would not wish either one of those things on anyone heart trouble unfortunately is rampant on both sides of my family it is something that genetically was going to get me anyway I figured in my 50s not in my 40s and menopause sort of made it actually worse I find some people's comments to be hilariously stupid the haters I'm talking about not not the um, the average commenter but I'm saying like the haters they're just stupid like well what is wrong with you that you don't work well I have the health issues which precludes me from doing a lot of jobs and also the jobs that I did do back in the day are no longer available in my area I would have to do something totally different that I was never trained for I'm not saying that I couldn't be trained for but I am just saying with my heart issues um, if I stand for a long period of time my feet swell my ankles swell and that's not good so standing five six hours behind the register is not good that coupled with the arthritis in my back and the arthritis in my knees no not not good now I'm going to be turning 55 mid-December there are a few programs I am going to look into after the holidays um, for folks 55 and older that allow you to work 20 hours a week and your checks your SSI or SSD doesn't get penalized for it and that is my main thing that I am not going to just like run out and get any job whatever doing anything if one I don't know that I can do it and keep up with it and two if things don't work out then I don't have my income to fall back on so it's not worth it at the moment but going into um, these two particular programs or one of them as I said 
has the benefit that you don't get penalized and two you're not actually paid where you're working you're not paid by the place that you're working at you're paid um, through this program you work strictly 20 hours a week um, four hours a day five days a week I mean sure I you know it could do that um, I'm gonna have to look into it and see you know what all it entails so for anyone who thinks like oh well you know go get a job and I'm gonna end this video on a note about a lot of the job situation in my town what my youngest son can vouch for is temp services are pretty much involved in 90% of the jobs hiring here in my town it is harder and harder for people to get hired directly through a company everyone uses temp services that has made a job market I think more unstable the way jobs are now as compared to when I was working say just 10 short years ago um, well actually a little bit longer but still point systems and God forbid you don't get sick just just don't get sick don't get sick you can get fired for God forbid taking a day or two off of work because you're sick think about that for a moment that is so stupid stupid it's asinine who wants employees to come to work sick one they're going to wind up getting sent home and then get bitched at for coming sick in the first place but then the temp service is going to turn around and penalize you because you took time off because you got sick well we're human beings we do get sick on occasion I just don't understand the way the job market is anymore I don't understand so much of the negativity in the world where one group of people just looks at another group of people and thinks right off the bat that they like deserve nothing and they should have nothing because you know for whatever reason this is what that group believes and I am here to say guys that I don't believe in any of that shit I believe in people helping one another I believe in people supporting one another people trying to get little businesses started people trying to do things to better themselves and make things better for themselves and their families there is enough negativity in my own town in the world on social media all over the last place I want negativity and nastiness to be is on my channel so starting with this video on there will be a disclaimer posted that if there is um, rude nasty comments they will be reported I'm just taking the stand saying I'm just not going to deal with this shit on my channel guys spread some love spread some positivity don't spread hate on my channel there's enough of it in the world already thanks for watching guys if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button I will be seeing you guys real soon thanks for the love